first get out your controller, power it on. First thing we're going to do is go to connect Wi-Fi and we're going to turn it off. And immediately go back, go down to preferences and reset and then click restore. Let's restore all the settings back to factory settings and it may turn off and reset but if it does just turn it back off next go ahead and pull out your gimbal on your karma and take out the GoPro camera. This is the GoPro Hero 6 Black. And what we're going to do now is get the memory card out of the camera and put it in your memory card reader. And you're gonna put this into whatever USB device you have and slot you have and go from there. Now you can, there are some ways to do it through the camera or through the app. Uh, this is the way I got it to work. So we're gonna do the manual update through GoPro. Open up your web browser, go to GoPro's website. A lot on here very distracting with all the new stuff out but let's go ahead and just go over support down to product updates click on that the very top you'll get the whole slew of cameras show all go down to your camera and then go to update your camera manually you've gotten there just enter in your 14 digit serial number and register your camera you're then going to put it back into the camera and update it all the instructions for this part should be on the GoPro website once you have entered in your serial uh, number once you have done that update put it back into the gimbal Once you're there, we are ready to put it back into the drone. We'll line it up properly and secure it. At this point, I turn it back on along with the controller so they can both recognize that the camera has been updated. Then you can turn it back off after it has started up. Then you're going to open up your web browser again and go to the GoPro pairing fix for the Karma. And go to Gavin's video. Follow his video step by step that'll should get your controller paired with your karma you will not be able to fly still or you shouldn't be able to fly at this point but 
uh, you're about halfway there. You will need to reflash after that. And for this, we're going to go to Donovan's video. Okay, once you're on Donovan's video, we can go down to his info down here at the bottom of the screen. Well, on this video, you will need to follow it step by step. Some very specific instructions. Um, you'll need to download this flash tool. And it will download as a zipped folder and just go to the folder and unzip it or extract it. Hit extract all and it should turn into a regular folder with these files in it. It will not have the two dump files here in the middle. One of these is a backup file which is created when you flash which is just this regular one. And then the one right below it, the 2501, that's the file that will come from uh, Boz Manx video over here. So after you download the flash tool, uh, don't start on Donovan's video yet. Come down to the bottom of Boz Manx, uh, info on his video and download the 2501 file. At this point you can start Donovan's video and go through it step by step. This will show up, the 2501 will show up um, somewhere else wherever you download it. Do not insert it in, into this folder until you get to that point in Donovan's video. You will not use this final 88 image that Donovan says. This is where you're going to use the new 2501 file when you get to that process in his video. Okay. Once you've done all that, you should be able to power back on your controller and you should get the update logo in the top right corner of the screen. I have already updated all these, but when I turned it on, I believe the stabilizer and maybe the drone was not up to date and I updated them. In order to update these, you need to make sure that your Wi-Fi is back on. This is the only time we'll turn our Wi-Fi back on. So you have turned that on, these should start updating. Come back up here and just make sure that the files are updating. This will take a few minutes to do all of them. And once that is done, you're going to turn back off the Wi-Fi once they're all updated. You can also, you might also have to recalibrate things at this point, which it should recalibrate. <clears throat> and once you turn the Wi Fi back off after you're done updating, you're going to turn your controller back off. Now at this point it may actually try to acquire a GPS signal. Um, when you swipe up it may give you a camera not recognized or something but just keep swiping up or turning back and off and on until you get to where it's trying to acquire the GPS location. 
it will not be able to acquire the GPS location inside. So we will have to power it off and move outside. Make sure you're in a clear open area as this will help the uh, GPS acquire a signal much faster. So just go turn on your drone first and then come back over and power on your controller. <clears throat> After a few seconds, you should be able to swipe up and you will have to do the normal permissions. Sometimes it'll make you do this, sometimes it won't. If your GPS acquires quickly, if you do not get a GPS, still that is fine. Um, mine sat at 20% the first time and it's doing it again, but all you do is hold down the start stop button and it should start the motors. And what that is gonna do is it basically starts the motors and you have to manually take off with the throttle stick on the left. And as it's in there at some point, it will collect the GPS signal and it should lock on. After a few seconds of being there, mine locked on the signal and straightened up. I now have a completely flyable drone. Uh, if I wasn't in a semi-restricted area, I think I'd get full permission, but um, at this point it is working and ready to fly. <laughs>